everyone, Donna Sunshine Stitches. Today we're working on the Hippie Flower Bag. This is a 5x7 and it features My Punk Broderies Trippy Hippie Orange and it is an applique bag. Again, this is a 5x7 line zipper bag, no inside seams. The first step is your outline. You will need the front of your bag, a piece for the applique, the back of your bag, a tab and a D-ring if you would like to add a wristlet, and your lining. You'll need two pieces of lining. You will have to measure your spaces. And after the outline, you'll notice that there is a one inch gap at the top. That is your zipper placement line. You need a number three one inch wide nylon coil zipper. Measure your zipper because not every zipper is one inch wide. YKK and a couple of the other zippers are more narrow so just measure your zipper so you can make the adjustment. Once you have your outline run, place your zipper between the two lines at the top. Make sure the bottom is resting on the bottom line and tack that in place. Okay, our zipper is attached. You can see the stitch lines at the bottom and the top. You will need one piece of lining and the front of your bag for the next step. This is a multitasking step, so turn your bag over, your hoop over. Find that double line of stitching under your zipper. Placing your lining right side down. If it's directional, make sure it's going the correct way because you want the excess to go over the top of your hoop. When we turn it later, it will come down your hoop. So for now, you want it right side down, pretty side down, just past those double lines and tape in place. Okay, we're all taped in place. Turn your hoop to the front and bring that lining around and tape it in place as well because you do not want to stitch it in the back. And we're doing a fold over method to give you a clean line under your zipper. Take your rhino, place it right side down and line up with the bottom of your zipper and stitch that in place. Okay, we have that front piece stitched in place and it's upside down with the excess going over your hoop and your lining is as well. Continuing to work on the front of the hoop, pull your vinyl down, gently push it back towards the bottom of the zipper teeth and stitch in place. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all stitched in place. I taped my corners because we are going to do an applique so I want to make sure it doesn't slide. The next piece of this bag that we're going to do is this tiny little green leaf right here. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, we have our little stem. Now we're going to do the outline for the applique. Be right back. Okay, there's the outline for our applique. And you're just going to lay your piece over that entire outline. This is the edge of your bag. This is the corner. You want to make sure that you extend past the edge of your bag and down around the corner. I'm going to stitch that in place. I'll be right back. Okay, you can see it's all tacked down and it did stitch right around this corner. Do not cut this corner. Leave extra. That way it goes into your seam. This is just to show you where it's at. Now we're going to trim around our flower. I'll be right back. Okay, got interrupted, so I want to make sure I didn't miss a step. <clears throat> we did the placement line, then we did the tack down, and I trimmed it. And you don't have to go all the way down into the V's. You want to go close, but there's still a little bit because the stitches will overlap. You want to leave enough around your corner and the edges to catch the applique in your side seams. Next, <clears throat> you're going to do the outline of the flower. So I'll see you in a few minutes. 
Okay, all the satin stitching is done around the edge of the petals. Next, we're going to do the center of the flower and the writing. This time it'll be the same color, so this and this will both be purple. See you in a few minutes. Okay, our satin stitching is done. Our lettering is done. Next, we're going to do the two little hearts. Okay, our little hearts are done. Next are all the little flowers. See you in a minute. Okay, all our little flowers are done. Next, we're going to do the peace sign and the center of the flowers. Okay, <clears throat> our design is complete. Now it's time to work on finishing the bag, so untape your lining. Pull it down, and you should see the right side of your lining. Tape the corners and stitch the second line of stitching under your zipper. Be right back. Okay, our second line of stitching is complete. And if you look at the back of your hoop, you see that your lining is tacked down as well. Now it's time to add our tab. So you need your D-ring and your scrap for your tab. I'm using a one inch D-ring and a one by three piece of vinyl. Move your zipper tab to the center of your bag. And we're going to tape this tab and ring in place. You'll need the back of your bag. You want to place it right side down and cover your entire stitching space. Make sure you go over the top of that zipper as well. Be right back. Okay, our back is attached. Turn the hoop over. Add your second piece of lining. Again, make sure it covers all of your stitching space. Tape that in place and run the final step of this bag. Okay, that was the final stitching step of your bag and you can see the second piece of lining is attached. You'll turn it the first time through the opening here. You'll turn it the second time through the zipper at the top. There will be a piece of white tear away across that. Remove that. Turn it the second time. You'll have to stitch your bottom and you should have something that looks like that. Thanks so much. Have a sunshine day.